Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's still morning. It's about like 11.21 according to my time. So, today I'm going to do another movie review. Uh, this movie review is going to be about Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, yes, knowing that um, that came out like somewhere around the summertime. Um, but you know, that's fine. Um, so this is a review that's long past due. So let's get to it. So. Spider-Man Homecoming, I think, is the best Spider-Man movie that I know of that ever came out. Um, like, the original three, they were okay, but not as great as this one. And the other two newest ones of the uh, Amazing Spider-Man, they were, well, I, okay. Technically, I haven't seen the second one, but if you put them together and what happened, what happened to Sony, and the reason that Sony is bringing this, uh, bringing Spider-Man back to, um, to Marvel, then safe bet is that it wasn't doing so well. Um, so... And also gives me, kind of gives me a little something of why did Marvel back in those days, like somewhere in the 2000s, I, I don't really know, um, because the first Spider-Man movie came out, I think, 2001. Um, but anyway, why did Marvel, when it decided to split all their comic books, like, they keep some of the Marvel things, like, well, for Marvel Studios. Um, Marvel Studios kept, like, all the Avenger movies and the individual movies for the Avengers. Like, Captain America and all of them. Okay, so why did they do that and decided to... So, so they kept those, but decided to take, let Fox take the X-Men franchise... And let Sony take the Spider-Man franchise along with, um, I think, I think they also have a Fantastic Four. Uh, unless that was Fox. Anyway, so why would, why did they decide to split up the franchise and now try and bring them back for Infinity War? See, I, it doesn't make sense. And for Spider-Man Homecoming, it was ten times better than if they would have know if Marvel would have let let this type of franchise for the franchise just just stay with it I mean eh, I don't get it but also for all those people who tried to do the timeline for the Avengers to all the way up to Infinity War um, this one let's see because it says about like eight years ago. So, so like the beginning of it starts out right after the first Avenger movie. And it kind of goes through like Civil War. So, somewhere around between there. Um, like, like, let's see. So, first it starts with the first Avenger movie. Um, first starts with the first adventure movie, and, like, kind of, kind of starts out, like, what, A Agents of Shields kind of started out first, um, like, what happened after the first Avengers, you know, which is basically a typical thing, um, after war and disaster, you know, um, Shield picks up almost everything that they can get, and then you got all these people who um, who finds alien tech first and doesn't want to give it back to the government. It's like, 
do you know how dangerous all these pieces of stuff is? I mean, all of these alien tech, it's, it's, um, what do you call it? Really dangerous. It's really dangerous and you shouldn't mess with it, but they do anyway. Um, but anyway, so that's what I like about it. Um, the guy, um, who plays Spider-Man and is really, really awesome. I think they chose the best actor for it, Tom Holland. Um, he, he was really awesome. Um, so I can't wait to see him in Infinity War because that would be awesome. Um, let's see. And pretty much the whole thing is pretty much awesome. I, I kind of like it. Um, because here you got a superhero, Spider-Man. Um, he wants to do good in his city, but he wants to um, improve more. Like, he wants to do better. And he wants to um, he wants to prove himself um, to everyone that he can do better. That's the way you do. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming was really good, um, I really liked it, um, if I was a movie guru, or a movie reviewer, um, who's, like, really expert, a really, a real expert on this, then I would give it five stars, um, and I can't wait to see him in Infinity War, actually. And one thing I do like about it is that, like, you get to see at the end what can probably be uh, what he can face in the second Spider-Man Homecoming. Because I know they were, they're supposed to make another one soon. So, I like that. But, and I also like how Marvel, like, just puts straight out puts there at the very, very ending after the credits, um, Steve Rogers saying that there's nothing to be seen, um, after the credits, knowing that people would actually stay after the credits to see if there's any glimpse of Infinity War or, you know, whatever, you know, because that's what I would have done, and actually I did do it, so, it was kind of funny, um, but overall, it was really awesome. Um, I can't wait to the second, for the second one. And I can't wait to see what he does and what his suit will be. Um, for his suit. Yeah, what his suit will be for Infinity War. Um, so, yeah. It was really awesome. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, here's my question for you guys. Uh, what do you like about Spider-Man Homecoming, and do you like it better than the original three, or the, um, two, uh, the two Spider-Man movies that came, like, 2015, or 2014, 2015, or whenever they came out? Um, I think it was better than the original ones, and the ones that someone tried to do. And, um, to, like, revisitize or whatever. Um, so, I don't know. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. Um, if you like this, um, video, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. And, um, if you like any... Let's see, what's another word? Oh, yeah. If you like this movie review and you want to do more, want to see more... Um, I will try to put my playlist of movie reviews down somewhere in the description below. And if you have any movies that you want me to watch and do a review on, um, please comment down below. Um, anything else? I think that's about it, yeah. Um, so far I got... A new movie review 
War of the Playroom of the Apes that I did earlier today. Um, I'll put a link down below. And also, um, just because Doxy was acting crazy, um, on Doxy Vlogs, um, I did upload her crazy, crazy, crazy reaction of seeing a pack member um, of her family. Um, so, yeah, it was really crazy. It's amazing that I didn't drop my phone at the same time. Uh, because she's so crazy. Oh yeah, just sniffing away. Foxy. Foxy. Want to say hi? Want to say hi? <laughs> she's so cute. Anyway, so that's it. Um, so, yeah, just go out there and have fun. Um, little adventures. Um, my next... And I will actually put this, I'm trying to start this newest thing, I guess, probably for the new year, of my upcoming videos of what I have, or what I'm going to do next. So, it should be interesting. Um, so my next one that should be, would be done soon, hopefully, um, plan to watch it, um, next Saturday, which is the newest Star Wars movie. So, comment down below if you're going to watch the new Star Wars movie and, like, um, what, um, what day are you going to watch it? Unfortunately, I'm going to probably watch it next Saturday. Um, I know some of my friends already watched it. And, um, so, yeah. Anyway, so, go out there, explore, have a wonderful adventure. Because the adventure is always outside your door, even if you don't know know about it. Um, just go out there and explore. Explore what's around your neighborhoods and stuff. And see you guys later.